Hello and welcome to the 1875 talk show. My name is Luke and here is my match review for the Birmingham City versus Coventry game. One change for the team that won on Wednesday, Graham in from Roberts. Colin had been moved to the centre with Williams and Graham acting as wingbacks. Like always, I watch the match. I do a lot of uh, notes all the way through and I'll read from my notes to show you what the game's been like all the way through. Coming into this game, Blues sit 15th in the league and Coventry are sitting bottom of the league. Blues have two wins, three losses and a draw out the last five and Coventry have well, one draw against Luton and four losses. First half... Early pressure from Coventry with a free free kick on the right and several throw-ins. Ninth minute in, shot from Coventry, uh, well held by John Ruddy. Two crosses blocked from by Graham on the left. Really haven't had a chance to get the midfield in the game in the first 15 minutes. Coventry have done really well to marshal our midfield and stopped a lot of our creative lads from getting on the ball and doing anything. A lot of high balls and missed kicks, missed kicks from Blues. Looking a little bit more nervous than we did on Wednesday. Uh, another attempt, uh, for, say, from outside the box by Hammer. Ruddy spilled, but Williams cleared. That was the third shot from the same area that Coventry have had. Uh, the Blues really needed to close it down, but unfortunately we didn't. Another shot just outside the penalty area for Coventry. Again, Blues are not closing Coventry players down. We're leaving them a load of space to get the pass the ball and get shots off. Chong had a shot from outside the box, but it was rising from the second he left his foot. Uh, Graham, oh no, hang on. Blues were seeing a lot more of the ball at that point. Um, Graham had a cross into the box, Bakuna header, but keeper saved it. Much better play from Blues, better build up with a lot more patience. Another long range effort from Ben Sheaf, same range, same position as the last ones. Blues really need to identify the problem. From what I could see, it looked like Chong and Bakuna were moving forward while Bielik was staying back and was doing a bit too much ball watching and left a massive gap in between and Coventry were just taking advantage of it. Lucky escape from Blues, where Graham lost the ball. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Coventry took a cross from the right as Bielik kicked it towards Ruddy, and luckily Ruddy managed to get from one side of the goal to the other and stop it from bulging in the net. Matt Goddard, another shot from outside the box, went over the bar. Again, another shot from the same place. Blues really needed to just survive the first half at this point. Between this game and Wednesday's game, it's chalk and cheese. It's the only thing I can really think of. We're leaving way too much space in the midfield, giving Coventry too much space to make a pass or make a shot. Blues really lucky up to the second half, up to the first time, not to concede. We do not look like the same squad to beat Albion on Wednesday. There have been moments of good quality, but 90% of the momentum have been with Coventry. From what I could see, Chong and Bakuna are heading forward and Bielik is being left behind and it looks like Coventry are just exploiting the gap between the midfielders. Really hadn't seen much from Deeney or Hogan in the first half, but the surface to them have been there. Hopefully, during half-time, we could rearrange and play a bit better. We came out the traps a bit better. A lot more a lot more fight in us. Still showing too much impatience to get the ball up. We need to be calm and try and build on it and play the ball instead of just instant passing. Corner taken by Chong. Sanderson headed it across back to Goldwoods and a shot by blocked by Williams. Uh, Bakuna with an early cross on the left, headed by Hogan, headed by Hogan. Keeper only just stopped it. Much better from Blue, showing the composure that was needed. 53rd minute, there was a yellow card shown to Ben Shee for a foul on Shong. Bakuna to take a free kick. Unfortunately, the ball ended up in the stands and Bakuna ended up on his arse. Uh, 60th minute, Deeney was brought down just outside the box. Tempers looked to be flared between Deeney and McFadden, but the other Blues man players managed to carve him down. Unfortunately, Bakuna's shot free kick was blocked. 66th minute, Bakuna came off for Hannibal Mesbury. Uh, first time in the second half at this point, the Coventry had actually been in our half, but Blues happily cleared. Much better play in the second half, better build up. They're not leaving that space between the midfield like they were in the first half. Hannibal did a blazing run on the right-hand side, but was taken out by Jonathan Panzo. Yellow card was shown. Uh, ball was booted from Ruddy, and Hogan was the only one up there. Put pressure on the defender, drew in the foul, free kick on the left. Double substitute for Coventry in the 77th. Tyler Walker for Matt Gordon, Casey Palmer for Jamie Allen. And in the 78th, Deeney came off for Lukas Jukovic. Blues started to lose a little bit of concentration. Started to be a miss passing again. Really need to keep the concentration of the Dine Embers. 83rd minute, Bielik was down in our own area. 
Looked like a nasty tackle, but from watching the replay, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Free kick to Blues. Blues have worked much better in the second half. Bit of a miscommunication between Graham and Chong in our area. Ball finally cleared. Uh, Tempers were flaring between Bidwell and a couple of players, a couple of Blues players on the right. And then free kick to Coventry on the right-hand side of the halfway line. Both Sanderson and Darbo were shown a yellow card in the 87th. And then in the 88th, Hammer was sent off for a kick in the face about against Hannibal Mesbury. Uh, looked like Hammer came in for a tackle on Hannibal. Both went down and Hannibal, Hammer just kicked him in. Looked like he kicked him in the face, so he was sent off for violent conduct. After that, Blues just really piled the pressure on. Um, corner for Blues, Williams, the ball came to Williams, who passed it to Graham inside the box. And Graham, on this turn, kicked it and booted it sky high. I think that was just because of the youth of Williams was showing through there. Didn't want to take the shot, possibly a confidence issue, I don't know. Blues piling the pressure on the last couple of minutes. Loads of crosses, close of crosses in the box. Dukey with a great header, keeper saved. Hannibal held onto the ball really well at the corner and, and uh, the corner. Chong with the corner, trusty, kind of, I don't know if he kicked it or need it or shinned it, but he shinned it goalwards and the keeper just dived down and palmed it out the way. Everyone in the stadium thought that was in, including myself. Uh, then Chong with the last moment of the game was a shot and again, it was on the spin and it just went upwards. Um... Uh, I'm happy with the clean sheet. I'm happy we didn't concede. I'm happy we didn't lose. <coughs> it definitely fills out quite well for what we've been through. You know, second half was much better than the first half. Again, I think, I don't know whether it was because we had that game on Wednesday and we gave it our all on Wednesday and we see, it just seemed a little bit leggy in the first half, just a little bit behind and we didn't really... We didn't really press them, put, put put pressure on them as much as we like against Albion, where they didn't have the ball for a second and a half before a player was on them. In this game, Coventry were allowed to play a lot more, and we really let them play their game in the first half. Still, again, we didn't lose. Um, we didn't concede, which is a plus. Uh, annoyingly, Coventry, unfortunately, they didn't concede either, which is a bit of annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, Blues are now, according to Sky Sports, app on my phone, the 15th, so I don't know what this is. But, with, of course, I don't know where we are, 15th or 17th now. <laughs> this is meant to be live, but apparently it's not. But again, we're going to the international break. I'm, I don't know whether to cover the international matches. I don't know if I should just what cover them just for any of the Blues lads that might be playing. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And once again, thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And keep right on and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.